Today we're playing Nebula by Jutek. I really like the title screen. It's very pixel art. But there's a lot going on. It, just the subtle motion of the, the asteroids flying around adds a lot. And uh, I like how this little cursor clicks and bounces and things like that. Very nice. Let's hmm, let's check out the hangar. Oh, this is a lot of information. Okay, this is overwhelming. I'm going back. Start a mission. Okay, I get to be a gunner. Gunner Rocky Baby or Bobby? Sickle and Razor. Okay. So they all have different weapons. Yellow gun, rockets, double barrel, plasma ball, or yellow laser. Wait, wasn't there? Yellow gun, yellow laser. Okay. More of a chance to find gears. More of a chance to find scraps. Weapon reload times decrease. Magnet radius increases, or speed increases. Let's do... Uh, baby, because I like the reload speed. Okay, looks like I have two levels to choose from. Let's go with the first one. I like the music. Okay, I am not, looks like it's shooting automatically. Um, I don't seem to have a control over the gun. It just sort of spins on its own. I can move the ship, though. Oh, it seems to... It slowly turns in the direction that I'm going? Maybe? I'm a little confused on the controls. So if I drive in this direction, it seems to shoot in this direction. Okay, I guess that's all there is to it. It's a little hard to run away from enemies while shooting at them though. I just find that hard to believe that there's not like a twin stick option. What are these little blue things? It's filling up a yellow bar at the bottom of the screen. I don't know what that means, but I'm sure it's good. Uh-oh, the ships are getting bigger. Ah! I'm going to experiment with the controls a little bit and see if I can, what my, my abilities are here. No, <clears throat> it seems like WASD are the only keys I use. Okay, I leveled up um, a new weapon, new armor. Increased bullet damage, increased rotation speed, or heal. Um, I either want the increased speed or the new weapon. Let's do the new weapon. Why not? Oh, I get two weapons. I thought it was going to replace mine. <clears throat> so this blue one seems to just shoot at targets um, on its own accord. I'm not controlling that at all. That doesn't make life a lot easier. I wonder if destroying the asteroids gives you anything. It seems to be Oh, I leveled up. The asteroids hit the enemies too, which is nice. 
New weapon, new weapon, extra projectiles. Rocket, archer. Let's try rockets. I took a lot of damage. Man, this is getting out of control. I really want those power ups. What is a golden gear? It gives me cash, extra speed, blue laser. Let's do the blue laser. Why not? We're going for the pure weapons run. Oh, I died. Did I die? Yeah. Okay. And there's my score. And that's it. I guess we'll check out the hangar now. <clears throat> okay, so you get cash every time you complete the level, and you can actually power things up. That's pretty nifty. There's a lot of weapons. Okay, more health. Let's do a lot more speed. Uh, radar radius. Okay. And then we'll try this. Uh, let's try someone new. Um, razor. And we'll do the new map. I like that laser, but man, it takes a long time to shoot. It looks really good. Well, it's kind of hard to do a laser weapon sometimes, but I think you nailed it. I can't believe that doesn't kill them. The increased speed really does make a big difference. I'm going to get some distance and I'm going to try to turn my gun around and hit those guys above me. No, it's just too slow. Oh man, this guy is giving me problems because he doesn't kill things in one hit. It's almost impossible. Got one. Okay. Oh, I need that blue thing. Dang it. Well, I think I'm just going to die and pick a different vehicle because this is like impossible. <laughs> Plasma ball. Rockets, yellow gun. Let's try plasma ball. Okay, that is a one hit kill. So we actually have a chance to get some experience or scrap, or I'm not sure what exactly they're dropping.
Oh, the plasma ball has some splash damage. That's helpful. I wonder if uh, the map has a an edge, or can I just keep going forever? I've almost leveled up. Okay, let's get the yellow turret. I don't think I've done the yellow turret. Sondas. I don't know what they are, but they sound cool. Okay. So they're like the yellow cannon, but they orbit the ship rather than being attached to the ship. Hmm. I always thought that was a cool idea. Um... I really should heal myself. Let's do the laser though. I wonder if the scrap ever uh, disappears. If not, I can make a big circle and go back and get everything. <laughs> Oof. This is going to be tight. Oh, I'm going to die. Ah, dang it. That got overwhelming. Okay. Well, I guess I'm going to call it here. Um, and I guess I'll give my final thoughts. So the graphics are really nice. I really like the uh, the pixel art and the the ships and especially the the bullet effects. Um, I like that it's kind of like a roguelike where when you die, you know, you start over, but you, since you get to earn cash with every run, it kind of uh, takes away the sting of having to start over because you'll be a little stronger for your next run. I like that whole gameplay loop. Uh, the, the gameplay feels a little strange to me. No, there's nothing wrong with the whole killing ships that are swarming you mechanic. But the fact that I can't really control my guns just feels kind of strange. Um, and the fact that they sort of turn... Like, I guess turning slowly is fine. But this really feels like it should be sort of a twin stick shooter where one stick is used to drive your spaceship and the other stick is used to aim the gun. However, if you did that, I think you'd have to increase the pace of the game because it's kind of slow. And for what it is right now, the pace is fine. It's okay for it to be a little slow. But if you were to implement a twin stick shooter, you would have to speed it up because I think it would be too slow. I'm trying to think of anything else. That's my main concern, I guess. It just feels strange not being able to have direct control over your gun. I have like indirect control. And it helps to get different guns because they can shoot backwards, which is where most of the enemies are. But of course, I can't go collect the scrap because if I go backwards, I'll end up getting hit. So it's an it's strange. 
And I, I feel like I'm not conveying my thoughts very well. But I'll try my best. But yeah, overall, I think it... Ooh, have we done red laser? Let's do red laser. Overall, I think it's a good concept. I definitely think it's... Things that are wrong with it are fixable. It's not like it needs to be scrapped and started over or anything. But uh, I just can't put my finger quite on what I don't like about it. It might be the whole indirect control of my weapons. Or maybe it's something else. I, I, I'll i have to think about it. If it comes to me, I'll I'll post in TIG Source. But overall, it's, it's pretty cool. Um... Yeah, I think if you could add maybe like bosses or maybe something similar to like what FTL did where they, um, or other roguelikes really, where you, you sort of, uh, sometimes you're fighting and then in between the fights you have these like environmental puzzles where, you know, you might be able to get a little bit of a reward if you do something risky but just kind of mix up the gameplay from just shooting I think it could be really something special so nice job and I look forward to seeing either how this improves or what your next game is but overall good job